and welcome to Sprout Studio V3, your checklist. This video series is a series of um, instructions or kind of checklist items to help you make the most of Sprout Studio V3. See, Sprout Studio V3, we introduce a lot of new functionality and we have an entire uh, series of videos called the Tour that basically introduces you to all of these new features and I actually put up Sprout Studio V2 and Sprout Studio V3 side by side and show you exactly what is what and where things are and where they've moved and so on and so forth. This video series is more about taking advantage of all the new features in Sprout Studio V3. We've kind of taken them down and boiled them down to the simplest form and given you a checklist to basically check off to get things done so that you can take advantage of all the new features that we've built for you uh, in Sprout Studio V3. And this first video is all about setting up your price list. So let's hop in to Sprout Studio V3 and set up a price list together. By default, when you open your existing Sprout Studio account, uh, if you've been using Sprout for any period of time, you will have to migrate your price list into the new V3 price list structure. So once you've done that, and we have a whole separate video just on that alone, uh, then you will open up Sprout and you will have your price list all set up. You will have your, um, your prints all here, your products, your packages, everything will all be set up already for you. Now let's run through what you might want to do in setting it up. So the first thing is that you want to just kind of run through and take a look at how things are structured. So uh, it would have been set up so that you've got your cost and your price. If you had cost entered, uh, you should have all of your description set up already in here. Uh, everything should already be all set up from you from your old price list, but you're now going to want to get in and uh, confirm things or, or uh, set things up and tweak things. This is a great opportunity to be honest because we introduced so many new features in Sprout Studio V3. This is a great opportunity to relook at your pricing, relook at how you want to market yourself, relook at how you want to show off the work that you put in front of your clients. Uh, from a language standpoint and tweak it because we're forcing you to tweak it now in your price list. Might as well take the opportunity to make it as good as you possibly can. So the first thing uh, just to kind of run through uh, all the things here in V3 is make sure that your tax and your booking auto credit are all set up with you want them to for each print size and then go on or sorry each print type sorry go into the print sizes make sure you're happy with your sizes maybe this is again a good opportunity to just double check you're happy with those sizes if you want to tweak any of those you're welcome to tweak them obviously uh, add sizes remove sizes keep things as simple as you can for your clients and you can also now reorder them to put them in the order that you want them on your price list and on the front end for your clients to view Next is to set up any options. So if you want to now get more granular with your pricing, which you couldn't do previously, so you will see nothing in here from your migrated price list because we never used to have uh, options in the old price list. So this might be a good opportunity to offer some options that you might want to consider with your prices. So maybe you want to offer different paper types or for frames, you want to offer different frame types or so on and so forth. Now would be the time to set up an option and to set up choices for those options. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Um, and then once you've done that, hop on into here, make sure you're happy with your prices. But now again, would be a great time to enter your costs. So if you have costs uh, that you can get from your lab or you can get from, if you print them yourself, if you've calculated those, punch in your costs. And now would also be a perfect opportunity to hop in and use pricing assistant to calculate based off of those costs. So hop on in here, click configure to set up what your hourly rate is and Sprout can calculate that for you. So whatever you want your annual salary to be, Let's say you want to make $80,000 a year and you want to work uh, 35 hours a week. Click calculate. That will automatically punch in your hourly rate. Uh, put in your markup. If you'd like to uh, stray from this, we recommend 2.85, but you're welcome to tweak that if you'd like to or if you feel like that's uh, not appropriate for you. And then in here, you're going to put in how long do you spend per print? So how long does it take you from the time that your client orders it per print? How long does it take you? So if we put in something like 10 minutes here, uh, you can see here that all of these prints will follow it. And I already have one here that I've overwritten for. So maybe my 8x10s, I take more time. I take, you know, 12 minutes for my 8x10. So you can override it and set a different time per print for those bigger ones. And then you can also override your markup for specific sizes. So if you want your 8x10s to feel more luxurious and have a higher markup, then you can override that and put uh, a different markup there. And then what you do is you click back. 
figure out which pricing strategy you want to go with. Do you want to go with calculated? Do you want to go with the nearest five? So it'll round to the nearest five. Do you want to round to the nearest 10? Do you want to round to the nearest nine? Or do you want to round to the nearest nine with the 99 cent strategy? I'm going to leave that at nearest 10 and I'm going to go ahead and click calculate pricing. And so now all of these prices will have been calculated based on all of those settings that I had in there in terms of how I wanted to price myself as a photographer. So now again, is a great opportunity to hop in, uh, double check your sizes, make sure you're happy, add some options and some choices, tweak your pricing and just hop on in and make sure that your prices are set up the way that you want them to. And I'd argue the same thing for uh, both prints, same thing with products, same thing with services, same thing with digitals, and same thing with packages. Make this opportunity to just do a once over, make sure your prices are set up properly, and make sure that you are profitable also uh, with your prices. Now, once you've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on in, let's grab uh, one of these here, and let's go on in and set up the view of this product. So how does this thing look to your clients on the front end when they're actually going through and looking at purchasing this in the gallery, uh, or if they're looking at it in your pricing guide? So there's three sections here. Details lets you set up both a summary and a description. So summary will go up here and then there's gonna be a little more details button and that's where the description comes down. So again, now is a perfect opportunity to hop in and make sure that you're talking about your products the way that you wanna talk about them. So give yourself kind of a little one sentence summary and then give yourself a nice little more full, uh, fully written uh, description for the products there so they show up beautifully here on the shop. I'm gonna skip over display for a second. I'm gonna jump down into testimonials. Um, this is something that we didn't really talk too much about, but I'm I'm particularly really excited about. Um, add in some testimonials. You can see down here in your shop and in your gallery, these testimonials will show up for your clients. Just again, as an extra little bit of uh, language to tweak uh, how you talk about what you do. So feel free to add in some testimonials. You can go add review, uh, add in the actual testimonial in here, add in the name up here, and it will now show up down over here. So hop on in and do the testimonials. And then lastly, and this is the most exciting part, let's get into how this shows up. What's the display of this? And that's what we're looking at right here. So we have a few different options. I'm just gonna kind of cycle between them. Let's go simple display. Now that is what you will see by default. So all of your existing uh, prices and packages and prints, everything will be set up with a simple display by default. Uh, with simple, you can choose to have an icon. So maybe let's just kind of go and view that there. So you see a little icon up there. Uh, you can have an icon background if you'd like. So if you wanna choose a color that you feel is good, and we're, as you can see there, we're automatically going to grab a color that goes over top of it that looks appropriate. Let's do something like that. And then you can also choose what your backdrop is for behind the print here. So if you wanna go ahead and choose something uh, that's more on brand for you, you're welcome to. If you wanna go dark, that looks really beautiful. Uh, you can go something like that. So whatever kind of works for you, uh, you're welcome to do that. Now, of course, you can choose what icon style. So if you want just a simple one that's filled like that, or that one, or a outline one, a light one, or the duotone one, you can choose whatever makes sense for you. So that is how it now will show up, and this gives you a live preview of what that looks like for your clients. Other options to go into uploaded images, and of course, that's where you can just upload your own image to show up uh, to market this product. And of course, when your client is purchasing this on the front end, we'll still show the image that they're working with over here. So right here, what you're seeing, this is just a preview, just to kind of give you an idea of what it will look like. So you can choose different kinds uh, of previews over here, just to kind of flip between them. Um, now that's not working here in this demo, but that's okay. But that kind of shows you what that looks like uh, there. Let me actually kind of close that out. I'm gonna open it back up again. There we go, back to normal. So upload an image would show up over here to promote that thing for you. Let's go into Sprout Visualizer. Now this is the one obviously that I think is the most impressive. Um, Sprout Visualizer, we have four different visualizer types and this is I'm sure something that we're gonna continue to expand in the future. Uh, you can visualize it as a framed print, which is what we have here, framed and matted print. You can go just a plain matted print. You can go a flat desk print or you can go a canvas gallery wrap. And for all of those, there's a whole bunch of options down here I'm gonna kinda of run through right now. Let's start with flat desk print. So first of all, you can choose what that backdrop looks like. So right now I've got that just as a simple wood backdrop, but you can swap that and put whatever kind of backdrop you'd like to have in there. Uh, I particularly love kinda of that one, it's like a concrete looking one. 
uh, do something like that, or maybe you want to go marble, go like that. Or if you just want to have a backdrop color and just choose a color, you can just do a simple color like that too. So whatever works for you, whatever you prefer, you can set that up right there. The next thing, which I think is just so beautiful, is this shadow type. So what kind of shadow do you want to sort of overlay over top of this? Right now you can see this is kind of how you get Sprout to look realistic and how you get the visualizer to look realistic. You can add different textures like this palm tree up over here, or you can add this orchid leaf that shows up like that. Maybe go with something like this. Look how beautiful that is. Or let's go with the marble. I love that one. Let's go with the palm tree. Or you can go with this just like simple corner gradient that comes in. Or you can go with this really nice looking dispersed light. So it looks kind of like just like speckled light. Or an archway light where you can kind of see this archway shadow coming in over here. Or maybe you want to go a little bit more dramatic and go with these like beautiful window blinds like that. Or you want to go something with a window frame that looks kind of more like that. So there's lots of different options. But again, all of this is just to give you that little extra bit of control to tweak how this looks, to tweak it so that it's your brand, it's your look, and it just looks nice and clean and elegant and beautiful and simple on the front end for your clients to view. Now, after that, for each of these visualizer types, there are various options that we've enabled for you to configure. So for example, for flat print, you can just say, hey, well, what do I want uh, the thickness of the border to be? So you can currently, if you want, you can map it to something in your price list. You can actually charge based on it. Or you can just set it and say, yeah, you know what? I don't want to have a border thickness. I want to have a medium one or I want to have a large one. So you can kind of just set that. And that's, again, just for how it displays just so you can tweak it and get into control that. Let's kind of run through the matted print option. Similar kind of thing. You can set up whatever backdrop you'd like to have for that. Maybe I'll go something like that. You can go matte thickness. And again, you can map this to one called, so this is called map or matte thickness. So if the client chooses thin, well, I want you to display it with uh, the small mat. If they choose thick, display it with the large mat. And then same thing with matte color. You can map that if you'd like, or you can just specify how it displays here with what that matte color is, whatever you sort of choose to have in your own brand. Maybe you kind of want to go more of like a, just like a little bit of a, a beige one there type of thing. Be a little more orange, something like that, I suppose. That kind of looks nice. So you do something like that. That is the matted print. Let's go framed and matted print. So now again, you can get in here. Uh, similar, you can choose your backdrop and choose whatever you want that to look like. Choose uh, what shadow you'd like. And now this is where you can get in and say, okay, frame type. Well, let's map that. So if I go just back out of here for a quick minute into my price, you can see over here, I've got frame type set up as one of my options. And I've got four of them in here. And so for all of these, I've got prices for espresso, for birch, for white, for cherry. So what you can do now is you can map up the display of frame type to one of those options. And for each of those, you can say, great, I want that to be espresso. I want this to be a nice birch. Maybe I'll go something more like that. I want white just to be simple white. And I want cherry to be maybe something more like that. Now, as your client goes between that, the price will update all up here as they toggle between the different things. Now, I've got all those prices set the same right now. But you can see this is what your client is going to see. They can kind of tweak between that and adjust and see sort of what they're about to pay and what the prices are going to be. And they can kind of tweak that right here uh, for them. Same thing with matte thickness. Again, you can set this up. You can either map, map it if you'd like to map it and charge for it, or you can just display it with whatever you think uh, is appropriate for the kind of frame that you offer. And again, this is all just, it's purely visual. It's just so that you can preview this for them. So they have a bit of an idea of what this looks like. Matte thickness, same kind of thing. Uh, you can specify how big the matting is here. So if you want to go extra large, or I guess you wouldn't do that for thin, you could go maybe small there and then extra large there. So as your client chooses between those two, they can just quickly visually see what that looks like so they can make a choice based of it, based on it. And then matte color, I'm going to reset that back to white. There we go. And again, you can map that if you'd like to. And the last one is canvas gallery wrap. So this is where you can map up the gallery thickness as well as the wrap style if it's an image uh, or if it's a color that you have as the wrap style there. And that is, again, mostly how you would kind of hop on in and customize this and tweak this and set this up. So again, this is a great opportunity for you to hop on in to make sure that your prices are all set up, make sure that you're happy with how um, all of that is structured but then get in and really tweak this and customize how you want this to look so it looks beautiful for your clients on the front end. Uh, same thing with packages and with digitals and services. So for all of these, 
for example, press printed cards, if I go into styling, now actually I didn't show the Unsplash image, but so I did Sprout Visualizer, but you also have Unsplash. So if you wanna grab an image from Unsplash, just grab the ID, change your backdrop here to whatever kind of color you want that to be. And then that way you can kind of just show off some really beautiful photographs uh, right here, or of course upload your own if you have your own images to show off there as well. And the last thing that I'll show here is just if we open up one of the packages, go on in here, this is where you're gonna wanna spend some time tweaking this. Put a description in here, similar over here, you can set up what you want this to look like on the front end for your clients. You can not show an image, you can go a simple display, uh, you can upload your own or you can grab an unsplash image and put it in here. And that way your clients can view these really beautifully on the front end. Now let me actually close on this out and let's just view what that looks like very briefly on the front end. There we are. So now you can see this is now the pricing guide for that price list that we were just working with after we've set that all up together. So we have down here, we have framed print, we have canvas gallery wrap, uh, this is the matted folio print, so on and so forth. If I go into one of these, let's go into this for example, learn more, now you can see now your client can see what that looks like and they can kind of toggle between these things. Now if it was in a gallery, of course they could purchase that as well. So there's lots of different options, but they can see what the prices are. It all updates up here so they know exactly what they're looking at and everything is all set up for you. And so that is what I recommend for doing uh, in terms of checklist item number one is to hop into your price list and tweak and customize. Take this opportunity to just give your price list a good refresh and make sure that you're showing off the products and the services that you offer uh, the way that you want to be showing them off.